We're here live in my office right now, and I know you guys have seen different snippets through different videos, whether it may have been TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, but you guys have never seen my entire office. I want to show you guys just a couple gems that I got up in here and give you guys an entire tour of all the stuff that I got going on. But it's low kid mess, bear with me, but I think we're going to have a good time. Oh, yeah, and if you didn't know by now, my name is DJ, and this is The DNA Show. Hey! All right, y'all, we got a lot to go over, so let's go ahead and start right here. These are my daily to-do list. Now, I know the list is starting to pack a little bit higher as we go, but all these boxes are essentially review videos that I still need to shoot. So I like to keep them at the door, that way they're on my mind, and I know like, hey, I need to get to this video and get it done as soon as possible type thing. But going over to this side of the room right here, you got a bunch of different things. You got my footballs. Uh, these right here have images of my boys from college and them going to my graduation and different stuff like that. This is a hat thrown this is actually by sneaker throne so just below this you can see i have my sneaker throne display cases and inside of here i have my pop toys but we got to get into the hats real quick so as you can see they got different trays right here and you know i like my snapbacks and my fitteds and the different teams and the brands and stuff so a lot of these hats over here are going to be my snapbacks and then some extra black hats that i have over there and then i got more hats that's sitting on this side now right here this is the national championship football that i won with the youth team i cut a couple different bear bricks and different things like that little memorabilia pieces um, signed by Nikki Diamonds. And again, more pop toys down here. Going to this side right here, we got some of my college football cleats. Actually, I wore all these football cleats when I was in college, whether it maybe have been a game or practice or something like this. This was a very special one to me right here. I didn't wear these, but they were customized for me when I graduated. Very, very important gift to me. I can make a whole video about this one alone. So I'm definitely gonna put these back because I know I could get deep into that video. Now going over here, we got the little got em rug and then we got the AMA one, twos and threes. I just got done shooting a video and some TikToks and stuff like that. So these need to get boxed up and get put back in the other room. Got some other sneakers over here, Chrome twos, different things like that. We got some Jordan 14s, the classic red hoodie. I wear this zip up hoodie in like every single thumbnail. So I just always keep this on deck right here because I take thumbnails often with that. And then over here, all this clothing is gonna be DNA stuff. I know I don't really do merch. Let me know what you guys think about merch down below in the comment section. Um, but basically these are all different DNA items that I have just kind of wearing. I've been wearing over the years when it comes to the show, the channel, and everybody see me wearing the same shirt, but I also have like four or five of that same exact shirt. So all these white tees are literally just DNA show tees. And then you see the black tees, same thing. So I got all these different versions. This one, what'd you guys think about this one? The Air DNA tie-dye? Let me know what y'all think about this down below. I got a whole size run of these actually, and they've just been sitting in a box. So low key, we should probably drop these so people can get them. Uh, I got my camera bag over here. And then over here, let's take a knee real quick so I can show you guys. Basically, we got some, uh, this is like my top 10 pickups of the year. I always try to like organize it so I can stay on track because the year is just so many shoes coming out. I got a couple new additions that I need to add to this top 10 list right now, but I'll probably kick out these bottom two. But right now, these are some of my top 10 pickups um, of 2022 so far. So as you can see, yes, I've been getting a lot of GRs and uh, special shoes, but at the same time, Still getting more PEs and different things like that. So got the Oregon 7s, the UNC 6s, UNC 3s, Oregon 8s, Michigan 6s. You guys have probably seen those videos in the pickups. Going to this side, this is where everything happens. This is where you guys get all the production of the videos, the edits of the TikToks and all the stuff that you might see is gonna be right here. So this is basically my setup. I got my gaming chair right here, which is for the TV over here. And then I sit down, I keep my Nerf gun on me just in case. My wife, she's holding the camera, but <laughs> if she act up, I got to shoot her just in case. You know what I'm saying? Look at the dog running away. <laughs> he, hiding, he hiding under the couch. We got a rule in the house. Like if we got a problem, we just pull out the Nerf guns. We have a Nerf war right on site. So she got hers, I got mine and it goes down sometimes. You know what I'm saying? But besides that, this is the editing setup. So I got my laptop and I got my external monitor and I got my hard drives and all that stuff. I keep a couple of shoes on deck right here. I got the Dornbecker 2s, I got my stream camera. Got, hold on, let's pull these out because I know we got all the sneaker heads over here talking about, oh, they don't know. They don't know about the 2s, you ain't a 2 head, all because of the 2 hype. 
Bro, trust me, I've been on twos for a long time. I got old twos too. You just see chrome twos over there. I've been had twos, just know. Everybody be on that false wave. I like every single number, even the high numbers that people be hating on. Um, but besides that, yeah, this is everything. This is where I sit down and I edit. I spend a lot of time right here getting a lot of videos done and I got all my extra trinkets and stuff. Oh, this one right here, I gotta show you guys this. This is my Lambo. I want a white Lambo with black rims to match my Corvette and my Tesla. So the goal is to get one. And my dad said he was gonna buy me one if I didn't buy one and he ended up buying this for me. And I was like, well, at least I got my first Lambo. So this is just the manifestation, you know, getting it, dreaming it, talking about it, seeing it every day. And eventually I'm gonna turn this into a real car one day. So in due time, it will come. I know it will happen. Let's come over to this side real quick. Right here is not the prettiest area. I don't really care because I literally just edit and play video games and turn around right here. This isn't supposed to be like my aesthetically pleasing area of the room. I kind of just like to play the game, hop on the PS5. I got more hats over here, my old PS4, some controllers, some Oregon Duck sneakers, uh, just a couple of them from the set and all my Pokemon cards and stuff like that. Come into this side right here. You'll see I pop this light on. I'll move the chair right here, set the tripod up right there, put the mic on. Next thing you know, I'm shooting a YouTube video. So this is kind of the spot where you guys will see me sitting right here and everything's faced this way with the background over here while I'm sitting down. This light right here, um, for those that have been asking, I have been getting a lot of people that ask me this question. So let me make sure I got the specific details on this one. This is an Amaran 100D light. And then I have a nice C stand. This is a metal one. And then the actual, where's the name on this thing? Oh, here we go. So this is a light dome SE. So this one's a little bit bigger, but it gets the job done for a few hundred bucks. This changed the game when it comes to my lighting and my videos, my aesthetic, and just the overall look of everything. So when I got this light, I had a ring light down in the other room and I was like, you know what? I gotta get a second light because this actually changed a lot when it comes to the videos and the production and the quality of everything. And then these are some RGB lights. Um, I'll link all this stuff for you guys on, uh, I got, I'm pretty sure, I think I got most of the stuff on Amazon. So I'll link it all for you guys in the description down below in this video as well. Over here, some sneakers that I recently picked up that I also need to shoot. So those kind of go in that same category on this side. Just got some more of these. Sneaker throne, sneaker trees up in here. I, I love these. I have probably about like 30 or 40 of these that kind of coil up like this and fit in your shoe. Keep that shape, get rid of the creasing, different stuff like that. I love those. <laughs> I love those a lot. Um, what else we got over here? We got different kicks. Oh, this right here is actually a sneaker throne bench. So I did a video on this and it's kind of just sitting here holding other shoe boxes and other shoes that need to get taken out and find a home. I don't have enough cases and enough space, but eventually we will find some space for it. So right here are some of my, uh, not daily rockers, but shoes that I'll rock on different trips or stuff that I'll kind of pull out every other week or so. So we got some Travis sixes and some Ray Allen 13s, Lightning fours, Dorn Beckers, uh, Travis fours, Travis lows. We got the old school joints right here, bringing back the retro vibes. Got the Ikea mirror, and then this is the part that I'm sure everybody wants to see. So we're gonna wait for a split second. I'm gonna show you guys this side. That way we can get into the sneakers because I know you guys wanna see all the stuff that's going on. So I've done a, a room makeover video before when I first started, um, the, when I first moved into this office and there definitely wasn't as much stuff in here but now we got the couch we got the rug we got the table um i think i got this on amazon i know a lot of people ask me about this as well this is a glass table that kind of curves on the edges really sleek really clean i think it was only like a couple hundred bucks or 150 bucks so i don't remember how much it was but i remember i was like oh this is a solid deal so i picked it up got this couch for like 150 bucks or 140 bucks i don't know just something cool for aesthetics and then i got my neon sign right here with the dna show logo and then this right here <sighs> This is like the ultimate grill for me right here. I know I got all my grill sneakers on display, but at the same time, I got my 100,000 subscriber YouTube play button, and my goal is to get 10 of these. So I wanna have nine other channels, plus I wanna get a gold one. I wanna get at least two gold ones and have 10 channels that have at least 100,000 subscribers, plus two channels with over a million subscribers with that gold play button. So 
I'm just getting started. We got a lot of work to do. We got a lot of videos to make, but I'm having fun. I'm enjoying it and I'm thankful for everybody that subscribed to the channel to help us get to 100K. We're at like 230K or something like that now. So, you know, we're a quarter of the way there. We're almost the way to a million. Now, when it comes to all this stuff, oh, wait a minute, one more thing I gotta mention. Some people have asked about this before. <laughs> my Reese's peanut butter cup uh, pillow on my couch. Some people are like, why do you have this? So, I know this is a probably I don't know, this is a very sentimental thing to me, but basically this was my grandma's. She had this in her bed every day um, when she was very, very sick before she passed away and she was always comfortable with this. So I was like, y'all cannot throw this pillow away. I need to make sure I have this. And then I had it kind of like stored for some years while I was in college. And then when I got out and I finally got my house, it kind of just slowly made its back way back into my house. And then now it's on display in my videos. So. It's like my grandma's always with me. I know she's tatted on my side and everything, but I keep her in all my videos as well. Now up here, oh yeah, Soul Collector posters. Any of my OG heads, people that's been collecting for 15 or 20 years, you guys remember these posters, these nostalgic times with Soul Collector, the iconic moments through all the images that we had saw during that time. So I had these posters for many a years and I've decided to keep them. And now they finally have somewhere to be displayed. I'm happy about these. I got a few other ones. Hopefully one day I have like a big warehouse and I can just fill it with all that stuff. So this is entirely Nike wall. I obviously have more Nike sneakers than this, but this is some of the stuff that I like to keep organized and displayed um, that I need access to for different videos or to just kind of have that aesthetic of the different colors and all the different styles and everything. So on this wall, I got different trainers and then I got the Revis trainers. I love trainers. So I got a couple different samples over here. Uh, this one right here is a friends and family sample. I love this colorway. I think these ones are super clean. It's like a very, very thin kind of like new buck material with the gold hits on it. Oh, these things are so far. I love this shoe right here. Um, other versions over here, I got the snake skin samples, different things like that. I uh, got the carnivores and then we got Nike Dunks. So we got Dunks, SBs, low tops, high tops. Um, is there anything in particular you think I should pull out for them? We got a few different off whites. So I have one, two, three, four off-white dunk lows uh, in my collection. I know a lot of people ask the question about that. Then I got the mix up of different things. Mummies, a little bit older, De La Highs and De La Lows. Ola, um, we got the Strange Loves. What else we got? Chunky Dunky, Chicago, Celtics, Paras, Bear Bricks. We got the Swarovski, everybody. Probably seen these a million times on my channel. The Swarovski SB. I love these right here. I think the MF Dooms though, the MF Dooms is my ones. Let me pull those out actually too while we're over here because this is just grail. I don't know about y'all, but for me, these are just like stupid grails. Like I just love these right here. Yellow one on the bottom, a little bit cool. We can see the face in there. Definitely a very, very clean shoe. Um, yeah, besides that, you know, decent, solid, you know, collection when it comes to the SBs and the Dunks. I don't have like a crazy amount because I know I'm more of a Jordan guy. My Jordan collection is way more extensive than it comes to like all these other models and everything. But I definitely like to have, you know, about 10 or 20 of the essential models that I like the most. So for Dunks, we got about 20 or so, 30 pairs. There's some other ones in boxes, places. Um, and the Air Force Ones. Got a little bit older with the Brazil Air Force One. I got some cool Air Force Ones on the way too. You guys are gonna be excited and I might be able to get them signed, which is gonna be crazy. And then Travis Scott Air Force One, Off-White Air Force One. So right here, we got the Lemonade Air Force One. Now I passed up on the Complex Con one. I know I made the dumbest mistake because I was like, oh, I can grab those a little bit later. I wanted to get a different shoe. But either way, this is the only one I have when it comes to these. So we know the green pair is coming out. There's rumor to a gray pair. I still need the blue, the black, and the white. Um, <laughs> I'm struggling when it comes to completing this set, but eventually I think I will complete the set. It's gonna take me some time. I'm being patient. I know the prices are really, really high on these ones. Shout out to wifey. She got these for me on sneakers app coming in the clutch for the retail cop. <laughs> this was so clutch. There is a black pair as well. And you see the white pair, but I like these ones the most. I think they stand out. They're really dope. Got the VLO forces. I know a lot of people always see me or ask about these as well. Very dope pickup. Got these from my boy back in the day. Really good deal. We got the Portland Air Force Ones. We got the Kif joints. We got a couple of different the DNA show forces right here. We got the laser ingrained ones right here on the other side. We got some Nike IDs, more Travis Scott's, some classic basic ones. We got the airships, foam posits. Um, I think I have some other foam posits stored away, but these are kind of the ones that 
had a big meaning to me. So this was my very first ever phone posit, the cough drops. Uh, this is the one, like I said, coaching the kids. We won the national championship. These are the ones I wore um, on the sideline, coaching the kids. And then these were just like my favorite ones. And then the Dornbrecker one is just fire. So you can't go wrong with that. Uh, up tempos, got the essentials right here, all the classic colorways, got some more monies, different samples, got some Kyrie's, Air Maxes and LeBron's, um, Kobe's right here, we got some more, a little bit off-white, classic Air Max 1's over here, let's see what we got over here, mm. oh, Prestos, so Prestos, you can see I got about 10 pairs of Prestos right here, um, I love the Presto, this is a shoe that I've been wearing for, since I was a little kid to now, so, I got two of these. I need to get the black pair of the off-white Presto steel. And then I got these. I used to have the black pair and I sold them because they weren't my size. I couldn't fit the 12 and it just wasn't working out. Um, Air Trainer 1. So we know Cactus Jacks, these just came out. As you can see, I have other Trainer 1s before Cactus Jacks. So I'm not just following the hype. I actually like this shoe. <laughs> uh, oh, right here too. We got the 112s. We got the Gold Diggers. Check out the Ultimate Dad shoe. <laughs> wore these to sneaker con back when it first started the channel a long long time ago and had a bunch of people sign the shoe shout out to my boy coin slot as well obviously he go crazy with the art but we got a bunch of homies on here just that signed the shoe and on both sneakers i actually signed them and then got some more nike ids prestos sock darts different things like that now another question a lot of people oh got some more rockers down here um, another question a lot of people always ask me is where did I get the display cases because everybody sees them in all my videos these are sneaker throne drop side display cases I'm sure you guys have probably heard me say it before but I love these cases they look really really good they're aesthetically pleasing they have different colors if you want to get different colors but me personally I love the white I love the look of just a clean look I know obviously there's stuff all over the place but hopefully we have a nice aesthetic in here I like it at least so I'm happy with that at the end of the day that's all that matters but yes, yeah, sneaker throne, drop side display cases. Those are sneaker throne cases over there, hat cases, uh, display cases over there. A whole bunch, they got a bunch of different items when it comes to their site. So I clearly love using their stuff. I've been rocking with them for a few years now. One day I'm gonna have containers for every single one of my pairs of shoes. I don't know where I'm gonna be able to fit it all and how I'm gonna make it work, but it's gonna happen eventually. So if you guys wanna get them as well, the discount code is gonna be DNA Show, and that'll get you 10% off. I'll make sure I have the link for you guys for everything, especially this stuff, because I know people always ask about it, down below in the description or pinned in the comment section for you guys. And I hope this was a cool little tour. I know, oh, we gotta go over some more of the helmets. Now these helmets, I just thought about it. These uh, helmets are like, this is probably like a third or a quarter, probably a quarter of my helmet collection. So the goal is to have every single NFL helmet some of the alternate helmets depending on the teams i love the steelers and i want i want to get helmets from all the homies that i know in the league you can literally go out and play with these helmets on the football field so these are like the real deal things i love the titans that was another squad that i always loved growing up eddie george steve mcnair all them things let me know who you guys' favorite football team is down below in the comment section and one day i'll get all my helmets out and show you my entire football helmet collection if you guys are interested. I know a lot of people on TikTok been asking me about it. I know I haven't really showed it much on YouTube, but I definitely have a pretty solid helmet collection as well. I like collecting skateboards, toys, shoes, cards, houses, you name it. I'm into all this stuff. I'm low key a hoarder, but it's an organization type thing. I feel like I'm a, I'm a good hoarder at the end of the day. I feel like I, I do a good job. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Oh, look it. Shout out to my boy Coin Slot again. Remember the dude that I showed you that drew on the car? See, look at this is his collectible toy right here. These are actually very, very limited and going up in value, but I'm not gonna sell it because it's my homie, but it's just crazy. Yeah, I'll be into all this type of weird stuff. So, all right, you guys, I think that's gonna do it. We can't end the video without having Armani up in the video because you know what I'm saying? He is just always in the room, holding it down, making sure I'm doing my thing and holding me accountable and just low key in the corner barking every time I'm trying to record a video, but that's a whole nother topic. Either way, <laughs> I'll see you guys in another one. Tell him bye, bro. Tell him bye, bro. He's like, I'm ready to go. <laughs> All right, y'all. <laughs> Yo, if you enjoyed this video and want to grow your collection or make extra money on the side, I built a VIP mastermind that will teach you everything that I've learned about growing my sneaker collection over the past 15 years. This will also give you access to the DNA fam in my VIP community where we talk about investing outside of sneakers. And don't worry. 
If you don't plan on joining the VIP community, it's okay. I also set up a private DNA fam community that gives you access to all the behind the scenes looks from the studio and multiple chances to win free sneakers and gear from weekly and monthly challenges. So all you need to do is click on the link down below in the description or the first link pinned in the comment section. That will get you set up and into the community. I'm excited to see you guys on the inside.